And here they are now. On behalf of the over 10,000 Napa Auto Care Centers in the United States, gentlemen, start your engines. in their cars alone, getting set for 500 laps of competition here at Martinsville. And the Napa Auto Care 500 being brought to you by Mobile One. Nothing outperforms Mobile One. By Conseco. And by brand name tires, oil changes, and more at your neighborhood Walmart Tire and Lube Express. Well, Martinsville Speedway, the oldest facility on which NASCAR competes, is just a little over a half mile. The front stretch and the back stretch are 800 feet. The banking in the corners is 12 degrees. It's often described as a paperclip shaped racetrack, and that's exactly what it looks like from our aerial view. Now let's take a look at the Walmart Everstart grid. Tony Stewart has his fourth career pole position in the Home Depot Pontiac, and Rusty Wallace will start alongside in row number one. Row number two, Jeff Burton from South Boston, Virginia, and alongside his brother, Ward. In row number three, Jeff Gordon in car number 24, the DuPont Automotive Chevrolet. Kenny Wallace will start alongside. Kenny started on the outside of row number one here in the spring. In the fourth row, it's Bobby Hamilton in the Kodak film Chevy and Mike Skinner in the Lowe's Chevrolet. In row number five, Brett Bodine from Shimon, New York in the Ralph Supermarket Ford and Steve Park in the Pennzoil Chevy. The sixth row, Ricky Rudd, another driver from Virginia, and Dale Earnhardt looking for his eighth NASCAR Winston Cup championship. In the seventh row will be Jerry Nadeau in the MichaelHolligan.com Chevrolet, and the current points leader in the series, Bobby Labonte from Corpus Christi, Texas. Back in row eight, on the inside is Ted Musgrave. On the outside, a lot of optimism for Robert Presley today. In row nine, Wally Dallenbach. And alongside Darrell Walton, his last final race at the Martinsville Speedway. In row 10, Rick Mast on the inside, Bill Elliott on the outside. In row 11 this afternoon, Dave Blaney and Casey Atwood, his second race for Ray Evernan. Row 12, Mark Martin and Joe Nemechek. Racket row 13, Jimmy Spencer and Mike Bliss. Row 14, we find Kyle Petty and John Andretti. Row 15, Hutch Strickland and Stacy Compton. The 16th row is made up of Dale Jarrett and Dale Earnhardt Jr. Row 17, Johnny Benson and Sterling Marlin. Row 18, Jeremy Mayfield and the final driver to get in on speed, Ricky Craven. The next seven drivers all got in on provisionals, Matt Kenseth and Terry Labotti in row 19. Row 20, Ken Schrader and Kurt Busch. Row 21, Kevin LePage and Michael Waltrip. And starting in 43rd will be Elliott Sadler in the Wood Brothers car. The Wood Brothers starting their 1,000th NASCAR Winston Cup race here today. Five went home. Rich Bickle was the second fastest after the practice period before qualifying, but he missed the show. So did Steve Grissom, Scott Pruitt, Dave Marcus, and Carl Long. On boards, Dale Jarrett, the Ford Quality Care on board. He starts 31st today. Mark Martin, the Babylene on board camera, back in 23rd position. Rick Mast, the Conseco on board. He starts 19th. Bobby Labonte has our Circuit City on board as he goes for that first NASCAR West Cup Championship. He starts 14th. Ricky Rudd has the Rebestos on board camera. We'll have a great, great camera today on board with Ricky Rudd. Steve Park, the Napa Chevrolet. He starts outside the fifth row today. Mike Skinner, the Lowe's Home Improvement Warehouse Chevrolet. He starts 8th. Ward Burton has the Huff Tamarna, Caterpillar, Pontiac, outside row two. We'll be riding along with Ward today. And on the outside of the front row, the Miller Lite Ford of Rusty Wallace. 263 miles of competition. That's 500 laps. The first exceeds 2 million. Pit window between laps 145 and 160. Jeff Gordon set the race record this race in 1996 
at a little over 82 miles an hour. It's a beautiful fall day here in Martinsville, Virginia. Warm temperatures, nice breeze, occasional sunshine, and we are set to go racing at Martinsville in the Napa Auto Care 500, the 28th race of the 2000 Winston Cup season. Tony Stewart and Rusty Wallace are in the front row. And the race is on. it was Tony Stewart that led lap number one. That's the 12th race that he has led in the 2000 season. But Rusty Wallace is staying right alongside him. And now at the end of the back stretch, Rusty will go into the lead as Ward Burton challenges Tony for second. Well, Rusty just drove it on down into the corner and took over that position, so he'll lead the next lap. It all started on turn two. Rusty Wallace, I talked about getting a bite, getting grip off the corner. He was terrific off that second corner and got momentum and was able to pass Tony Stewart on the outside. Momentary battle between the Burton brothers there for third, but Ward now has that spot, Jeff back and forth. And in fifth position is the 55 car of Kenny Wallace. Dale Earnhardt banging on the car that he owns, the number one car driven by Steve Park. Here's the 31 car of Mike Skinner on the inside of Jeff Gordon in car number 24. And Skinner makes the pass. Uh, Earnhardt is just chomping at the bit. I want by, guys. Please, quit running side by side. Give me a chance. But Bobby Hamilton not about to give up his shot at trying to get by Steve Park. Brett Bodine in that red number 11 car there reaches a milestone today. He's starting his 400th NASCAR Winston Cup race, and he has the ninth starting position, his best start since here in April when he started from four spot. And once again, Earnhardt trying to pick up positions here, gets to the inside of Hamilton. He's going to pass Bobby. Now he's got Steve Park up ahead. And Hamilton now can't get to the bottom of the racetrack. Park finally got by. Earnhardt gets by. And here comes Brett Bodine. A little contact there between those two cars. Well, you have to be very careful when you get that close together. You can very easily cut a valve stem off. Of course, I'm sure that most of them have hidden those valve spring stems as far into the wheel as they possibly can to keep that from happening. Hamilton get the wall? I think he did. Oh, boy, he was awful close to it if he didn't. And he was awful close to getting that thing all the way around. Now he's finally going to be able to get to the inside. This is what can happen in Martinsville on a short track. Look at a chain reaction here as everybody slams on the brakes and whoa! And Ricky Craven had to really go high there in the car number 50. Best battle continues to be for third up front. And as once again, the Burton brothers from, we determine what, about 50 miles from here? About 50 miles from South Boston, Virginia. Both of them grew up. Here comes Mark Martin doing battle with the 93 car of Dave Laney. back for the 23rd position and behind Blaney is Jimmy Spencer and Kyle Petty who is in the 45 sprint car here this weekend they will run Homestead also in addition to here at Martinsville notice the speed there of Mark Martin 91.6 the leader is turning a lap of 92.6 that last time around. The leader is Rusty Wallace, as his advantage over Tony Stewart amounts to about a half a second. And that's only about three or four car lengths. There's Jerry Nadeau in the 01 of Ted Musgrave. Daryl Waltrip, as Benny said, in his final short track race, his final appearance here at Martinsville. This is the 225th 
short track race that Darrell Waltrip has participated in in his long and illustrious career. Right now he's running in the 17th position. That's up one position from where he started. He's 18th. And they've got Kyle Petty, the 45 car on the outside. Is Sterling Marlin, the course car, goes by, takes a position away. John Andretti there in the 43 is a former winner here, won in the spring of 1999, giving Pontiac its last win here at Martinsville, most recent win. With on the uh, 40 car of Sterling Marlin, he's made a pretty good move from 34th up to 26th. Now Jeff Burton has gone into third, passing his brother Ward, and once again we see Kenny Wallace with a good effort here in the early going. He has uh, always run well here at Martinsville. Aha, uh -huh, a little bit of a bump. Stacy Compton against the wall in the Kodak form, and the caution flag is out. He's going to stay on the lead lap. Don't know how much damage he might have done, but he did stay on the lead lap. Stacy Compton began his Winston Cup career here at Martinsville in April of 96, but he brings out the first caution of the afternoon here in 2000. Let's take a look at it. Well, there's Kenny Schrader, the 36 car, right behind Compton. Gets in the back of him. He tries to save it, but he can't. He, made, he nails the gas, does a 360, and just touches the wall there at the end. One more angle. There it is. There was definite contact. Just spun him around. Stacy Compton, another driver from the Commonwealth of Virginia. He is from Hurt, Virginia. And we have yet another look at it. On the far right of your screen, there contact already made between Schrader and Compton. That sent him spinning around. So 18 laps completed now here at Martinsville out of 500, and our first caution of the afternoon is flying because of this incident involving Stacy Compton. Rusty Wallace leads back in a moment. <laughs> 